Hello everyone, I am Tanujun. I welcome you all to the question discussion series of DIPS Academy. Here we are going to discuss some questions of CSIR NET examination 2022. Let's start with the first question. The first question we are going to discuss is a question of linear algebra. So question is, in this question, we have to find a um, determinant of a matrix x0, which is a solution of this equation, x minus xa equals to a. And also it can be seen that a is not given as such. We have to determine first a out of these three matrices, which is our required a. And for this, we have no condition given. So we have to utilize just this condition. So only one thing is given to us, that is ax minus xa equals to a. So here we have two matrices. We are equating two matrices. So what do we have? We have that these two matrices have all the same properties. So I can say that these two matrices have same traces also. So this is what I have now. We are using just one condition given to us. So trace of these two matrices are same. And as we know, trace of AB matrix is equals to trace of BA matrix. We know AB is not equals to BA, but these two matrices have same traces. So using this, this gives us trace of AX minus trace of XA is equals to trace of A. And these two quantities are equal, so we can cancel this out. And we are left with trace of A is equals to 0. So what we have is a matrix A that we require here have trace 0. So out of these three matrices, only one matrix have trace 0. The first one has trace 0, second one has trace minus 2 and the third one has trace 2. So our required matrix is 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. So this is the matrix corresponding to which we have to find x0 and the ultimate task is to find determinant of x0 to find not possible values of determinant of x0 so this is our a if i assume like x0 is a solution as x0 is a 2 cross 2 matrix and x0 is a solution with integer entries and x0 is a solution of this equation so i can this must satisfy this equation so what do i have I have a x naught minus x naught a should be equals to a. I don't know what is x naught, so I am assuming x naught to be an arbitrary matrix. So for me, x naught is all of the four entries are unknown to us, right? But we have one thing that is a x naught minus x naught a is equals to a. Now, a is, so uh, we are substituting those matrices in this equation and we have 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. Yeah. And our matrix was a, b, c, d minus a, B, C, D, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. This is equals to the matrix A. So this is our A matrix. Now solving this further, we have, this is nothing but A plus C, B plus D, minus A minus C, and minus B minus D. The second one is A minus B, A minus B, C minus D, C minus D. 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. Solving it further, 
See, it has nothing in this question. We just have to use one trick that we will equate trace of A. That there is only only one trick here that we have to equate traces here to find a required A. So after that, it, it is just mere calculation. This is what is it? C plus B. And this is B plus T minus A minus B. So it is Yeah, this is B plus T minus A minus B So 2B plus D minus A and this is D minus A minus 2C and it is minus b minus c so now we have to equate these two matrices see these two matrices will be equal if the corresponding entries will be equal so correspond uh, corresponding to this equation we have four equations first one is B plus C equals to 1, then then 2B plus D minus A equals to 1, then 2B plus D minus A equals to 1, fourth one was minus B minus C equals to minus 1, which ultimately gives us B plus C equals to 1. So, first one and fourth one are same and third one is two, uh, D minus A minus 2C. D minus A minus 2C equals to minus 1. So, here we have four variables A, B, C, D but corresponding to these four variables we have only three equations. So, what do we need to do is we will just eliminate some variable as much as we can. So from here, I can write C equals to 1 minus P, right? And from this equation, I have D is equals to 1 minus 2B plus A. And from this equation, like we have, so we have substituted C in terms of B and D in terms of A and B. Now, what do we have is our X naught was A, B, C, D, right? Where A, B, C, D, all four entries were unknown. Here we have A, we have B. But C is equals to 1 minus B and D is equals to 1 minus 2B plus A, right? So now on, we have only two variables and with these two variables only we can find all the entries of matrix X naught. So our task is to find values which are not possible for determinant of X naught. So we'll try to find determinant of X naught and our X naught is this. So determinant of x naught is a into 1 minus 2b plus a minus b 1 minus b, right? And uh, further solving this, a minus 2ab plus a square minus b plus b square. So it is a square plus b square minus 2ab plus a minus b. This is nothing but a minus b whole square plus a minus b, which further can be simplified as a minus b, a minus b plus 1. So, we got that determinant is product of two integers because a, b, c, d all were integers. So, these values are also integers. Now, this is product of what? This is product of two consecutive integers because if a minus b is some integer, then the other term is a minus b plus 1. So, if I consider a minus b to be n, then this is n into n plus 1, right? So, in the question, we are asked to 
find the values which are not possible for determinant of x naught we have that determinant of x naught is a minus b a minus b plus 1 where a minus a and b both are arbitrary integer entries so for option 1 if i consider a equals to b then determinant of x naught is 0 second option for if i consider a to be 2 and b to be 1 then determinant of x naught is 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 plus 1 which is 2 so we see that 0 and 2 are possible values for determinant of x naught for option c if a equals to 3 and b equals to 1 right then determinant of x naught is 3 minus 1 and 3 minus 1 plus 1 which is 6 so we see that the values for option a b c are possible as determinant of x dot now the fourth option was 10 determinant of x naught cannot be 10 also three options are discarded so fourth should be the correct answer but why since determinant is product of two consecutive integers and 10 can be written as 10 into 1 5 into 2 minus 5 into minus 2 and minus 10 into minus 1 out of all these four possibilities none is the product of two consecutive integers so 10 is the correct answer because 10 is not the value which can be which can take place as a determinant of x naught so our option is option d is the correct answer for this question i hope you people understand this question thank you for watching the video thank you